Put your sticking on there, Chris. Looks very pretty. Let's just see ones of cell response, but I ran out of cell response, so I had to put some bloodworm pellets in there to bulk it up. But yeah, it's a deadly sharpened hook in there, one I made at home last night. You made the hook? Yeah, man. Go to your own one, goes and all that sort of shit. I'm the whole shebang, all that. How far across is your boy? Yeah, I won't go that far across, but that way. See, they are on it already, mate. They can just run their own car for this one, maybe. Probably put about two two kilos out each, and uh, our pellet rods are already bleeping away. So hopefully that's the cats down there. And if it is, we're going to keep piling it in. As you can see, we've uh, just fired up the barbecue. So we wait for that to burn out a bit and get a bit of food on there. See that where Chris has just put that rod out on PVA bag about bubbles that come up. So pretty much stopped now, but still a few popping up. Right, let's get this on the camera. Chris, what did you think for the toilet facilities? Uh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I recommend them to anyone that comes down here. As long as you don't go in there after the dirty rock bag that was in there before, I wasn't a shit all up the back of the pan. Um, almost died, so I'm still gagging for a shit in a minute to be fair. But I'd rather hold it and hurt myself than shit in there. But yeah, lovely stuff. Had loads of fish? Nah. My stomach's still burning, I can still taste my own fucking acid in my stomach. Man. And who do we have in the bivvy today? Chris, what are you doing, Chris? I'm making a cigarette, Ray. What are you doing? I'm waiting for one of these blasted catfish. You ain't get no dirty bivvy action in here, son. No bivvy action here. <coughs> you got much? Yeah, well, you're doing more. <coughs> Bagged up today, didn't you? Bagged up. Smashed it to the bottom. <laughs> Struggle for the past two days, tiddler bashing. Today, pulled it out of the bag. 20 live baits later. <coughs> 20 live baits, four bream. <coughs> the carp you couldn't add. And a carp that went into the bushes. <laughs> yeah, son! Yep, this is the swim on this lake. The number one swim, mainly because you can park your car right in it. You've got the burger van just over there, and you've got a lot of water in front of you. And you can fit two people on it quite comfortably. So, yeah, we've been here. This is day number three, technically. And uh, Chris has moved twice. Three times. Well, this is the third time now. Third I've moved twice. It's been number two for me. Let's see what we can do tonight. Chris had two. And uh, Chris is one in a carp. Sort of let him out of the island. Some good like that. I've got open water. Wrestled him in the mud for it. Not raise him now. 
the cat think you son. Yeah. Speaking of which, that's on you. There must be just a load of fish coming through my swim, just smashing into my lines. Mm-hmm.